Well, I did it. And if the uh, boiled linseed oil had had time to cure, I would be sitting on this to prove it. But I tried Shishugi Bond today. I felt the burn, sanded the burn, resealed the burn. Uh, I think it worked. And so please take a look at the video here, see what you think. And if you got any thoughts, Love to have them in the comments. Please like. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks for watching. And I think I've almost got the emotional energy built up that I could try to make another one of these. Uh, looking forward to putting this out to where it can be used. And uh, probably another day or two. And the linseed oil should set up okay. Interestingly using the torch it smelled like popcorn burnt popcorn but it smelled like popcorn i'm not sure if that's the walnut if that's the linseed uh what that is but anyway thanks for watching blessed and grateful here on dead end street the boiled linseed oil has been allowed to set and hopefully set up in the bench for about a week now and I'm going to have to look at the previous video and double check this, but I'm really fascinated. The center cores of these small branches that I've cut as the legs really darkened up with that linseed oil. Everything else was just slightly darkened or a bit yellowed, as you can see along the legs. I don't think the centers were this dark. Really fascinated by that. And I'm showing that now because I don't think I'm going to be able to see them in a few minutes when I do the thing that I'm planning to do, maybe against <laughs> better judgment, but uh, I'm going to try to shishugi bond the bottoms of the legs to uh, help preserve them uh, for out more outside use, especially direct contact with the ground am i nervous yes yes i am i understand it as a three-part process after making the thing first we're going to burn i'm going to go down about two or three inches all the way around on each of the legs then going to use, uh, I think, the sanding block or something like it to get the excess off of the parts that, the areas that were burned. And then I'm, I think I'm going to reapply uh, linseed oil. I've been looking at some videos and if I'm really on the ball, I'm going to include some of the links to those or uh, names of those in the description today. Just about to light up the, the torch and... Yeah, I'm always a little nervous about that. Let's let's see how it goes. Let me try to not melt my camera while trying to do this last leg. I've been wondering, you might see here but there's a little bit of white liquid that pops up. I honestly don't know if that's just sap in these very recently cut uh, branches or linseed oil or both. Oh, it just went out on me. Let me go relight. All right, let's try again. not exactly sure. I think I had some aluminum tape somewhere. I was going to maybe try to wrap the leg so I get a kind of try to get an exact uh, depth of this cut or length of this this burn for each of the legs but I'm ending up just kind of eyeballing it here and I think that would be okay. There are different levels from what I've seen in videos for doing this where the, the 
longest and deepest burn. It almost makes it look like alligator skin. Uh, it really just like crusts up the top layer. And I'm trying to avoid going that far with it. And just, I don't want to actually, this is like a candle now it looks like. Yeah, it's get, really getting some sap out of that one, I guess. Okay, just about done with the burn part, I think. And just getting a little bit of a sprinkle, which is a nice little natural safety backup, I guess. Try to get down in here some. I don't want to... don't want to degrade the top layer too much. get this what I think is finished and then do kind of an overall check okay maybe that was out of frame for some of that sorry if it was okay. now there's definitely some sap coming up out of that I think which I don't think is a real serious problem. That's just part of it, and there's nothing wrong with doing like unkilned or undried wood necessarily. All right, I'm going to end up going way too far with this if I'm not careful here. Couple little more touch ups. It would be great in the comments if anybody has opinions on this, if you know what would be better to seal a shooting bond than just boiled linseed oil. I know there's some great stain options, including some colors that can really look great. But I don't have any of that here, so I think I'm just going to stick with the boiled linseed oil for now. But there may be some better things for me to try in the future. I'd be glad to have any input on that. All right, I think that's approximately the same length. And I do not want to overdo it if I can help it. So, let's call that good. Uh, maybe a touch more here. Safely off. Thank you, Lord. Please excuse the handheld nature of this here, but this is kind of close up. I, yeah, I don't know how much the uh, cracks not getting very deep burn uh, contributes to any future issues. Maybe something I need to do there. That is pretty consistent I think in the uh, typical irony of my life department at the exact moment when I'm saying I don't want to do the alligator skin effect guess what I was doing that is a small version of that deep a burn which I think will sand off now those small cracks can be replicated in a large scale with a longer burn. That's a little more than I wanted on this one, but okay. Not sure I'm getting good focus. Sorry about that too. But there are the legs and I think pretty close and I don't think it's going to be too distracting for the those to be blackened on the ends when at least part of that's probably going to be down either in gravel where it might be sitting and around a fire pit or in the grass or even on a porch where it's going to blend in a little bit. Next, oh boy, sanding time. I am going to wait for this to set for a bit though. I'm not sure that that worked out maybe as ideally as I'd hoped. Maybe this thing was just real old or something, but 
the grit just almost immediately just all came off. I think as much of the dust here is from the burn as, as there is grit from the block that just kind of disintegrated off the, the surface. Anyway, I have sanded and let's see if we can get a little closer look. It seems to have done pretty well. Got the alligator skin uh, surface off of this one leg and the others you, know, you can still tell that it is has been burned but got into that layer some I'm just not sure I'm getting good pictures for you here I'm sorry it's really overcast today and I don't have good light right here either anyway about time to get the boiled linseed oil out although I think I may run some sanding over the whole thing again uh, maybe just to take a little bit of the nap of the surface down a little bit more but also to try and get this grunge from the burn part out maybe I should have done it with it turned over and so it would go wouldn't fall down onto more of the leg I'm not sure mm -hmm. 